I just feel bad. This is a good first video back, hey? <laughs> I promise I'm a lot stronger than this. Today I'm just going to be doing some deads, maybe hit a top set of 370, top single, maybe 350. I've like hurt my pec a little the other day, so we'll see how I feel. But um, I'm going to show you my deads. i got Danny recording. She's doing a video for the first time. Hi. So thank you. That's my fiance. Um, and then after that, I'm going to show you my back off and some of my accessories so you can see how I train the off season. Yes, we still lift heavy in the off season. We just do a lot less of it, right? So it's one by one top set. Then my back downs, straight into a few accessories, not that many, um, you know. So still specific training, but a lot more focus on driving hypertrophy over getting good at lifting super heavy. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it with her to record whatever she feels is good. We'll see how it comes out. Hopefully it's good, it's her first time. Another thing I get asked a lot is what mobility I do, and it's very, very complex. <laughs> Oh shit, you do I stretch, I stretch my pecs out about 15 times and I'm ready. And I feel warmed up. <laughs> I pretty much just start at 60 for deads and I warm up 40 kilo jumps for a plate of time until I get to 340. That'll be my last warm up and I'll base my top set off of how that moves. And that's the other thing. I'll usually three or four reps in the first warm up, two or three on the second, and then pretty much just singles all the way to the top. Um, even if I'm doing a set of five on the top set, I just do singles all the way up so I don't burn myself out. Uh, you don't need to do 20 sets, you also don't need to do sets of five all the way up. Just having a look at my my dad to make sure it was moving okay. I think I was a bit over the bar, but I know it's really big and powerful and record ourselves. But I like to watch my my warm ups and everything, just to make sure I'm picking the right weights because something can feel really good or really shit, um, but it doesn't always reflect in what you're seeing. So I just like to look and make sure. Probably gonna go three, well, I'm gonna go 340. And if it moves half decent, we'll go 370. I don't feel as good as last week, but you know, I had a mover at one. I should have done the, just done the 370 last week. Cause that's what I missed at comp. Like I got it like, easy, my grip gave out. So we switched to hook. Been doing hook for, since March, it's start of March. They're constantly bruised. Um, but it feels good, it's not painful now. Like I don't feel that at all. But we'll see. 340 will be uh, telling. If it flies, we'll go 370. And if it doesn't, we'll still go 370. I felt like shit. <laughs> Not good.
Nah, that happens. It's not my day. Would have been there last week, but that's the thing. Um, been training hard, haven't had a dealer for a while, and we'll just do it next time. Finish the session. So we're in off season, I obviously just didn't do too well on the 370. I watched a video, I probably should have just stuck with it, but it's more effort than it's worth. But we've got a whole session to finish, um, because right now we don't need to be the strongest we've ever been. That comes at pro raw. We need to do our accessories, our back offs. I might drop the back offs a bit, because obviously um, I don't want to kill myself today. So I was playing four by five at 310. I might do one set of five at 310 and then back off on the other ones, we'll see. Um, and then you get to see my accessories for the day. So I've got Hatfield split squats. We're going to push those pretty hard today. Hopefully 150 something kilos, 140 something kilos, um, which you'll see what they are. Then I've got some banded leg extensions, I think, and some single leg dumbbell RDLs. The whole point of the off-season though is to go really hard on accessories. Again, try to grow some good contractile tissue. If you've been looking at my Insta, I've been growing lately. The reason is we do a nice top set. Well, it should have been easy. It obviously wasn't. It? Realistically, I probably should have gone lighter because the 340 didn't feel too crash hot, but we'll learn from this. We'll get better, be better lifted for it. But then, yeah, the, the whole goal is accessories here. Um, you know, I've had a pretty tough week with benching that anyway, so probably due to drop some weights and then ramp back up um, towards the end of this off season. Big Natty Daddy Tyler is going for a PB triple today. So you'll get to see that. Well, I went for a PB and triple. I did two and one calf raise. <laughs> it happens sometimes, you know, you know, focusing on the rep and your grinding, you lose balance and sumo. It's less likely to happen in conventional, but you know, it happens, but it's just about improving and fixing what goes wrong. And until next time, we'll go for some heavy doubles. Uh, I got some trap bars, which I've never done trap bar heavy, so this will be a PB as well. I don't know, I'll go for like 200 for eight or something. Yeah. The last time I trap bar, I would have done like 120. Oh. <laughs> so, I have a lot of people asking me now about hook because I've transitioned pretty well, pretty fast to it. Um, number one thing is, Honestly, it's gonna hurt for the first eight, 10, 12 weeks, no matter what. So start with lower loads, just do your warm ups with it. That's what we get people to do, that's what I did. I didn't go above 250 for the first two, three weeks, then edged up, then I did 280, it hurt like shit. So I did that two weeks in a row, then I did 300. And by the time I got to 320, it didn't hurt anymore. Just, I'll give you a tip, I'll give you some help. So I internally rotate a little bit, jam my webbing in, lay the thumb against the bar, right? Then I straighten up, I grab, the bar with my ring finger and my pinky as hard as possible and then I grab the tip of my thumb make sure it's set and pull so again webbing in thumb against the bar these two on grab the thumb and go something I never did before Tyler uh, taught me was pushing grabbing these two fingers first into the bar before setting my hook and it made I don't know why but it made a world of difference and it's helped a lot of people that do hook here as well um, so a nice little tip there. Grab with these two first before these two.
a fart. It's very embarrassing <laughs> if you do that. And I eat a lot. All right, I'm doing a Hatfield split squat, um, which is what you just saw. The reason we're doing these is they're more loadable. I'm not really gonna be able to hold on to 60, 80 kilo dumbbells for any meaningful split squat work. So loading these on my shoulders, giving myself a bit of assist with the arms, means these are much more loadable, better for hypertrophy. Obviously split squats, like dumbbell split squats and everything, but we're going to split squats have their place. These are more comfortable. I can push these a lot harder. And I can load these up a lot more. I have no business doing split squats with 20, 30 kilo dumbbells, 400 plus kilo squatter, it's not really gonna do anything for me. Um, but these, 142 kilos right now, six to eight reps with a nice slow eccentric. I'm gonna feel these tomorrow. I always feel these really bad in my glutes and my quads and they're burning for days. And Casey can attest to that, she absolutely hates them. <laughs> That's part of the deadlifting. I actually use this as a squat variation too at the moment because it's so far out of comp. It means I can push them harder um, and really get something out of them. As you can see, three more sets. So, it's called a banded leg extension. It looks a bit like a sissy squat, but when you have limited equipment, you need to make do. Very much emulates a leg extension. You're probably wondering how. It looks like a completely different movement. Uh, leg extension obviously is like a hinge, but it's all shortening of the quad, right? So, what we're training this movement isn't actually the sissy squat part, the resistance of the band as you come up and shorten your quad and you flex your quad as hard as possible and hold it for a second is what we're training. Training the shortening of the quad, you do it and you hit me up and tell me, hey, Anthony, that felt like a leg extension. I know, you think we'll close here for that one. For the first time in ages, I released a video and this time without any false promises. Danny did it though, she's behind the camera, she's gonna be doing the editing. It's her first try. I'm really excited though because she wants to get in here weekly. She only has Mondays off um, from when I'm training. She wants to get in and get some training footage. I can explain stuff like I did in this video between sets while I'm really out of breath. Um, but So I want to thank her for coming in, otherwise it wouldn't get done. I said I'm going to redo content for a while, but I just can't stand editing. I don't have the patience. So thank you. Um, you know, obviously today didn't go to plan, but hopefully, you know, you see lifters on every level, the elite level, we're pulling, you know, huge numbers all the way down to the beginner level. Uh, not every session goes to plan. And I do want to show those sessions as much as I want to show the awesome sessions where I'm squatting and pulling over 400 and all these big weights. That's not the reality though. Most of the time, it's lighter weights and sometimes we miss weights, <laughs> like today. The goal is, like I said, to make some more of these videos. We want to do some like informative videos on meal prep or I know people want to see how I eat every day. I'll save that for when I'm eating more calories though because it's more impressive than like 4,500. Um, but I, I'm really excited to be putting videos out again. Uh, the better Danny gets to editing, and by that I mean the speed and everything, the more we'll do. We're gonna shoot for one a week, but I'm not gonna make promises. It's a lot of pressure to put on her, uh, and it's unfair. She has a full-time job as well, um, but we will do as much as we can. She really enjoys this kind of stuff. Thanks for watching, though. I'm excited for Monday. 
I don't know what I'm going to be squatting. We might be pulling a deload. We might not. I don't know. Sometimes I just up the weights, which is probably why I'm in this situation today. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. K, peace out, boy. Sorry, I'm sweaty. And you love On me. On my skin. And you love me.